I guess, hello everyone. This is the um, new format I'm going to be trying out. I'm not going to lie, this week um, I've been kind of tired, uninspired, feeling dead. Um, my shoulder's been in pain because my desk isn't uh, really fit for working at long hours um, at a desk doing digital work or video editing and stuff. So. I haven't even done any painting recently, so I'm jumping back into this blue one. It's kind of looking a bit dry, so I want to be brave today and do some big kind of palette knife swipes. So you'll get an idea of how I do the palette knife stuff. Um, and they can go, <laughs> they can go pretty badly sometimes. So I'm hoping that today is going to be a success rather than a failure. But um, I'm also using quite expensive colors because you'll see the lighter blue here is a cobalt teal and I've got ultramarine as well but cobalt teal is a series 4 color aka pricey even for a small tube so one of the things I was speaking about recently earlier was um, about being brave with using a lot of paint which is why one of the reasons I tried to pick up palette knives more. Okay, that's looking a bit too tealy. I might get some ultramarine and some burnt umber. Now, ultramarine and burnt umber will give you a darker kind of color. It can give you black if you really want it, but I'm not looking for black. I'm just looking for a darker blue. So then this is all wet paint here. And then I go on top. Okay, so I've got some nice texture here. Um, I'm not so sure about the shape, but that's okay. Once it dries, that's when you can fix the shape. Um, where else do I need some nice? I feel like this eye socket could probably be a bit darker as well. I might do the same, the same here. Uh, let's try. <laughs> oh, okay. That's very, very ultramarine there. And you can say we, you can see we have a very harsh line here from the um, from the palette knife. But these are the early stages you don't see <laughs> when uh, Instagram artists put their stuff out. All right, let's get some more. Heel maybe. Okay, I've accidentally mixed grey, which is what I do not want. Alright, more teal and a bit more white. Let's try, I'm gonna try and continue this down here and then try and make it look like it actually works. Hmm. That kind of works. Um, I feel like here as well needs something. Um, so far, I've literally haven't used a brush. As you can see, it's all palette knife to put down these textures and shape. And then I go in with the brush to kind of clean everything up and add details. Here as well, I still want to continue working on this bit. Okay, let's do... If anyone's wondering why I'm looking left, I have my digital design here on the iPad. So I do reference while I work. This isn't just coming uh, straight out of my imagination as I work. Okay, so we want a kind of swoosh here. And sometimes it's difficult to decide. Should I come from here? Or should I come from here? I think from the top for this one. And then sometimes you can come over again. But I think that made it worse. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some white. I've already got some color on my palette knife. And then come here again. Okay, it's building up a little bit. And some darker color again. Okay. 
this is looking rather uh, messy compared to what it was when I started. But now let's get the first paintbrush. I'm actually going to start implementing some some linseed oil as well because these are the kind of upper layers now so I know all of this paint underneath now is starting to dry or it's dried anyways so now I'm kind of finding it <laughs> a bit weird and difficult to paint and talk at the same time I guess that's one reason why I haven't done this before, but yeah, trying out new stuff. I also asked the, um, I had a little poll. I don't know how many of you saw it, probably not many, but um, I did a poll asking, should I do YouTube shorts alongside these kinds of videos? And the answer seemed to be both. So I might be doing some YouTube shorts soon. So one thing about these palette knife things is cause the paint is so wet, you can actually softly put your brush on it and create brush stroke textures on top um, and pick up paint and use it again on the surface of the canvas to get more color and texture. Um, but what I'll probably do this is looking quite flat. So I'll wait for it to dry and I'll be adding some soft gradients or shadows on top to give it more of a actual shape. So you can see sometimes I press my brush down onto the canvas because I know there's some like different colors on it and it squeezes the paint out of the bristles, which allows me to move it around a bit. So as I said kind of before, I wasn't feeling very inspired or uh, I was feeling a bit dead this week. So one thing I do is um, obviously I've spoken in the past about what do you do if you're dead? What do you do if you feel uninspired? And um, I focus on process. So number one, my process was interrupted a little bit because my shoulder was just pissing me off. Um, but one thing that did really inspire me this week was I, anyone who's obviously been aware of art and the internet and what's been going on recently with Christie's is NFTs are going crazy, which is basically digital art um, has is looking like it has an amazing future. Um, because if anyone is aware of kind of how the crypto networks or the blockchain kind of technology that is being introduced um, works, there is um, something called an NFT, which is a non-fungible token, which is basically, uh, imagine I'm a digital artist, I can create one of these tokens and make like a, a limited quantity of them and then give them value and sell them on this electronic network, which has like a history. It's kind of like a, you put it into a database, which then becomes like its own kind of market and uh, there's an artist called Beeple. Um, as I said, uh, if anyone is aware of what's going on, I'm sure you've all heard about it already, but he sold his a digital art piece for $69 million, I think it was, um, at an auction at Christie's, which is not bad for a JPEG image <laughs> or whatever it was. But I do find it inspiring to kind of see that there are new ways of kind of monetizing artwork that seems to, to be honest, turning away from these exclusive art markets. And it's kind of just becoming like whoever decides what is good on the internet wins, or there's just going to be tons of different niches where you can monetize and do well. And then the population of the internet, um, if they support what you're doing, then you're going to be 
absolutely fine when it comes to monetizing uh, your artwork. And the great thing about these NFTs are if someone, uh, for example, buys your artwork and then wants to sell it onto the sec put it on the secondary market, then um, you get a cut because you've kind of programmed into the uh, artwork that you're going to take so much of every sale. So it's like if people want to then buy and sell your artwork, you're always going to be making money from that, which is amazing, kind of like royalties in the music industry. But one thing that really impressed me about Beeple was um, taking a look at his uh, digital pieces, which is all kind of, I think, rendered in. Uh, he's got mad skills in like 3D, uh, 3D art and creating uh, CG stuff and whatnot. But he's been doing an art piece every single day for like the past 13 years or something ridiculous like that. And the quality of his work is insane for something that he can pump out like every single day. So have a look at, if you type in Beeple, I think his username is like Beeple underscore crap or something. <laughs> Um, he's got some really interesting stuff and he is now a super millionaire so congratulations to him okay this this here is too dark so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up some more some more white and a bit of teal if anyone's curious of the mediums that I'm using I'm mixing some liquid in with these thick palette knife strokes to um, help them dry faster. I think I'm just going to let here do a do its own drying. And I think this brush is also a bit big. I'm still, I still want to pick up a fair amount of paint, but I think I'm going to have to start going into the finer details now, or at least start defining some areas because all the palette knife stuff I just did lost us lost us some definition so i'm gonna have to bring that definition back it's also nice when you have thick paint because <laughs> if you need a little bit of paint and you want to darken or lighten some bit or do some mixing you can just kind of pick it up as you go along also one thing i did start inspired by mr people in his daily practice of making something every day i really for a long time kind of wanted to get better at just straight up painting on photoshop um, because even though i do have the digital process it just um i'm not really comfortable just straight up painting on photoshop um the way i kind of design like this um, is a is kind of getting a photograph or something that I'm interested in and then evolving it um, by kind of pasting different textures on top. It's kind of like a, I call it a digital collage. Um, that's the closest thing I could imagine it being, kind of collaging paint textures um, and color and then I do do I do do <laughs> I do do some uh, uh, well some digital painting on top too but in terms of just straight up digital painting nah I I am um, I still feel very kind of amateur when it comes to that so one of one of the things that I've started doing now is practicing a bit more and today Today on Instagram, I actually put out my first digital painting, which is hopefully going to be well received. This bit I'm not sure about here, but because I don't want to mess up all this texture here, I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll do another sweep over this way. Now, because I've got pretty much black on this brush, I'm going to clean this brush and then I'll get a different angle to do some more detail. I kind of realized now while filming this, one thing that would probably come in really handy for you guys is if I filmed my palette 
with another camera kind of at the same time that I'm doing this. I'm sure that would add some value to the video. But the problem is not having two SD cards at the moment. I actually do have um, my old DSLR, which I could use. But as I said, I don't have an SD card, but I'm ordering one today. So pray that it comes soon and then I can start filming my, I can start filming my palette at the same time as my painting. Look at that, this does feel a little bit stressful though. I do feel like I'm being watched when there's a camera on me and I feel like my body moves differently. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. And because this is spontaneous speech as well, I'm not very good at spontaneous speech. I don't know if you guys realize, but a majority of my YouTube videos are all loosely scripted. Um, I tend to write out my ideas and thoughts beforehand, just so I have a more comfortable way of, I guess, communicating the ideas without trying to spontaneously think up of everything on the spot because I'm bad at doing that. I'm gonna get in some nice, almost white highlights down here at some point, but I really wanna get the nice waviness of the beard. Weaviness of the beard. Mm -hmm. This area needs something. It's kind of brown in my reference, but I'm not sure about using brown here. Maybe a browny kind of gray. Let's see how this works. Not too bad. Slowly coming back to life, let me... I don't want to lose the good bits that I already had. Okay, that is possibly a mistake. Let's see. Sometimes you'll just make a mark and you'll look at it and be like, no, bad mark. But, hmm. I don't know, maybe I might come down. <laughs> I might come down tomorrow morning and be like, what the hell did I do to this piece? But I'm feeling brave today, so I'm glad there's some, some form of movement going on because this piece has been sitting around and I don't like pieces sitting around not being finished for too long anyways. It's good to have some space at times, but I don't like feeling lazy. So please do, um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because I've got to go eat dinner, but please do kind of <laughs> comment below if this format of video is something you'd like to see more because I might split these up into maybe some shorts, um, have com more, more of a conversation with you guys in these videos, I guess more of a casual kind of feel. Um, because the usual format of me doing five things or something fine art, that usual education kind of format, I'm not gonna let it go, but I'm getting a bit fed up of doing the same thing. Um, and I'm sure all of you creative peeps understand when it comes to wanting to be creative and doing the same thing all the time, it kind of wears you out a bit. So I wanted to switch things up and test new kinds of content such as short videos and this more uh, casual kind of relaxing, chilled paint with me kind of vibes. We are gonna be adding some nice detail to this era at some point, but I might get some more footage. I might not, but I hope that this has been beneficial for everyone watching. And uh, here is my, I can't even do the awkward goodbye because my face isn't showing. And here is my awkward goodbye.